Hello, my name is Dr. Pete Deal, and I'm one of the foot and ankle service line physicians at Panorama Orthopedics and Spine. Thank you for allowing us the privilege to take care of you or your loved one. As specialists in foot and ankle, we collaborate to provide exceptional care to all of our patients, helping you feel better so you can do more. Today, my partners and I are gonna walk you through an Achilles tendon repair. An Achilles tendon repair is performed to correct a complete rupture of the tendon. Most individuals who experience an Achilles tendon rupture are active and would benefit from surgical repair to return to their previous level of athletic intensity. The goal of this surgery is to close the gap between the ends of the ruptured tendon to restore the tendon's normal length and strength. Each individual is assessed for their specific needs with the surgical repair and the specific post-operative protocol that's utilized. The procedure may be done through a traditional open incision or through a more minimally invasive approach. The best approach is really determined by the location of the injury and the individual's anatomy. Sometimes the surgeon will use additional hardware to attach the tendon to the calcaneus or the heel bone as part of the repair. When preparing for your Achilles tendon repair, make sure to discuss any questions or concerns you have with your care team ahead of time. You will talk to your care team a few days before your procedure, and it's important that you feel comfortable and armed with the information you need. Certain patients may require an evaluation by their primary care physician before surgery to have medical clearance and ensure there are no unforeseen issues that will impact your recovery. Some patients may need an MRI if they have difficult anatomy or experienced a past trauma to the area. This will make sure we are accurately assessing each patient's injury before surgery. Minimal risks of the surgery include mild stiffness, development of scar tissue, occasional swelling, skin sensitivity, and asymmetry or weakness of the calf muscle. The day of your procedure, you arrive at the surgical facility a few hours before surgery. The preoperative team will prepare you for surgery by verifying your medical history, starting an IV, washing your leg, and administering a nerve block to your leg. By the time you arrive in the operating room, your surgical site will be numb. The nerve block allows us to use less anesthetic, which will allow for a faster recovery time. Depending on the complexity or the severity of the injury, surgery can take anywhere from one to two hours. You can expect to be in the recovery room for at least one hour, and your nerve block will last for at least 12 to 18 hours post-surgery helping you manage pain in the immediate recovery period. Because this procedure is an outpatient surgery, you will be able to return home the same day. That's a plus. Pain management will include a combination of anti-inflammatories and narcotics. Most patients are off narcotic medications within the first few days of their surgery. But because there's an increased risk in any of these types of surgeries for developing a blood clot, Patients are placed on a blood thinner for the first few weeks to keep you safe. Most patients will need to be non-weight bearing and immobilized in a temporary splint for the first two weeks in order to allow the area to heal effectively. You will then be transitioned to a boot and begin gradual weight bearing on the leg and begin physical therapy. After six weeks, you will transition from a boot to a shoe. While patients can begin to return to most low impact activities within two to three months and high impact activities around four months, they can expect complete recovery within six to 12 months of surgery. We hope this video helped you feel better informed for your upcoming Achilles tendon repair surgery. Should you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to any member of your care team.